Today I'll be showing you how to add a 750-632 proportional valve controller to an Ethernet IP platform. Uh, in RSLogix we'll start a new project. And we're, first we're going to add an Ethernet node or Wagga Remote IO node. So right click Ethernet and select generic Ethernet module. Uh, click create and we'll name this. We'll call this Wago IO. We're going to change the data type to Sint. We'll add our IP address. And under assembly instances, we're going to use 107 and 101, each with six cents of data uh, in configuration one. We'll click Create and click OK. Uh, next, we're going to add the add-on instructions. So right-click add-on instructions, select Import. And here we're going to import the six-byte add-on instruction. Uh, click Create. And next, we're going to move to our main program. So in our main routine, it's very simple. We're going to have three rungs of ladder logic. Uh, the first one is going to be a copy function. The next is going to be our add-on instruction. The third one is also going to be a copy. Essentially, we're going to copy data into the add-on instruction and then copy it out. Uh, we'll create the instance of the add-on instruction and call it my632. Uh, under inputs, we'll, we'll make my inputs and my outputs, and we'll just create those tags here. Next, we'll move over to the copy blocks. And what we'll want to do under the copy blocks is copy the data from the remote I.O. into the, uh, the add-on. So we'll select our WAGO input um, input data, and we're going to start at sint0. Our destination is my inputs for the add-on instruction uh, at the 0 byte, and length is going to be 6. Uh, we're going to do the same in reverse for the output block. We're going to use the my outputs starting at bit, byte 0. The destination is going to be the WAGO uh, output uh, starting at uh, byte 0 and again 6 bytes. Now we're ready to go. We can download this to our controller. Um, once it's downloaded, we'll put it into run mode. You'll see that we're running error free to the remote I.O. And uh, we do have a coil hooked up to this, so we'll go ahead and command the, uh, we'll p enable the power bridge and s uh, go to the set point, put a set point of 500 and enable. You can see our current is changing and communications look great.